today, this thing is going to start. What's up guys, welcome back to North Country Off Grid. Today, we're working on the tractor. The Massey Ferguson 175. We got a nice day out today. It's warm, the sun is shining. We're gonna uncover this thing. We've got no rain today, but there is rain in the forecast. So we're gonna get this thing done because there's snow in the forecast as well. And well, this thing's our snow remover. So guys, today the first step, the first thing we need to do actually is run to town. We gotta run to town and get some muriatic acid for the tank. We gotta clean out the tank. The gas tank, the fuel tank has stuff in it. We want to give it a nice cleaning. Uh, it's got very little rust in it, so I'm not sure that this step is actually even necessary. But if we're going to dig into it, we're going to have to take off the metal covering here and pull this whole thing out to get the gas tank of the fuel line out. So if we're going to do that, we're just going to do it all right. We're going to go ahead and get some acid, clean out the inside of the tank, make sure it's all good to go, put it back in, get it installed, and get the fuel into this thing. So guys, if you've been following this, we had a clogged fuel line. We blew that fuel line out and it had sediment. It had like a hard petrified rock sediment. It went flying out and uh, it's now inside the tank. We've drained out the tank. It's completely dry, but we've got stuff in there that we need to pull out so that it then doesn't go back down and into our tractor's fuel system. So that's step one. So here we go, guys. We are off to the store. Road trip. And we are back. We have got our two gallons of muriatic acid, guys. We are using this to clean out the tank today, if and when we get this thing removed. Also today, we are gonna be checking out some cobalt tools. Got a 227 piece cobalt tool kit. We're gonna see if we can put some of this stuff to use today. This was a gift from my mama. It's my first time ever using uh, cobalt tools at all. So we'll review them too, see how they do. Hopefully they are of the right size uh, to work on the tractor. The tractor has a lot of big bolts on it. Um, also today, we're gonna be using this magnetic dish. This magnetic dish is gonna hang on to all of our stuff for us. This thing's pretty cool. We'll pull it out of the package and show you guys. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get started. So we have got to get this cover off of the tractor. This top piece of metal is gonna need to come off and then we will be pulling out the fuel tank. Now the battery is out. It's probably all we need to do to be messing with this kind of stuff. No clue, but the battery's out. So it looks like we got to put everything in its little spot. This thing's got some handy little drawers on it. Yep, there we are. So we got to put everything away. Take a look in here. Got us a cobalt sticker, some foam pad. There we go, and there's our tools, guys. Cool, very clean, nice, nice looking. We'll put these things to use, and then we'll, uh, we'll organize them when we're done. Do you want to walk around and look for anywhere that this is attached? I kind of think that this might be the only bolt. Just follow that seam around. There might be something on the front. Oh. 
snapped it. I snapped it. Might need a new one. Oh, okay. We got one more. So you're going to have to lift it straight up and just kind of watch it has to go directly over that uh, steering wheel. Okay, then go this way. Just sit right there for a second. Okay, hold it. Looks like it's going to come off easier. Just two bolts. Show you guys what we got going on here. Here are nuts that we have to expose to get to. Looks like to take off whatever that is. I think we need to get down to. We might not be able to. We might not need to get to that one if we can get the other two out. You see here on this end, if we can get these two off then this whole tank might slide out from the other one. We need to disconnect whatever this is. You can see these lines are gonna probably need to get. You can see some bare wire there. That's all but disconnected there. Following it back down through here. There's a ball of something, exposed wire. It's a lot of this stuff, look at that. That looks fried and melted. So this tractor did start, and it did run for a while. That's completely disconnected. Um, so with all of this, it still did in fact start up and run. So what we're going to do is disconnect these dudes first. I think that's our first step. And then Deegan's going to work on disconnecting this thing here. There's walnuts in there. Huh? There's walnuts in there. There's, <laughs> there's walnuts down in there. Now I believe this is your uh, going to be like an air filter, an L, and a squirrel probably was finding its way in there and taking some walnuts in there. So we'll be re removing some walnuts. That's All right, so grab your screwdriver and start undoing those. Wipe off everything first so that you can get to it. Be very careful to not rip any of that wiring. Okay. This might this might wind up being a bigger project than we had thought. We were originally just going to take off the tank, clean it, put the tank back on. Good to go, but it looks like this tank needs to be cleaned inside and outside first. And then while we have the covering off, it's probably going to be best that we maybe even rewire. We need to rewire whatever that stuff is. And remove the walnuts.
like back this. Back into the blues. Nice. Okay, so put that here. Attach it back to it so that way you don't lose it. Probably wind up feeling like just replacing all of these bolts. On the Looks to be in pretty good shape. Yeah. Okay. Okay, come around to this side, bud. Oh. Okay, so you're going to be underneath here. This one's actually a nice, easy shot. Right there, and then up into that right there. See that? Okay, reach in there and grab that. Got it? Yeah. Good. extension arm as well. Alright, you ready? Mm -hmm. the nut. Okay. Oh, it's still on the ground. Caught her? Yep. Hey, inside the shop, or inside the chicken coop, where'd that nut go? I put it in there, in the bulk dish. Inside the chicken coop is a bottle. It's like a little squishy bottle of degreaser. Do you grab that? Keep looking. Oh, guys, this is our final detachment. It's gonna be this dude here, and then our tank should be free and clear took us a while to get things off. A few of these clamps are in a very hard to reach spot. So Deacon and I had to get crafty and I'm glad he's here because he's able to reach in some places that I couldn't. Okay, there we go. Slide that right back up in there, get that cleaned off. So I'm debating on whether I should be cleaning this and disconnecting the electrical, uh, or if I should be taking this whole thing off and just replacing it. And in reality, you know what we'll do is we're gonna try cleaning it, but we're gonna order, we're gonna order another part. We're gonna order that and we're gonna replace it, but we're gonna leave it in. So Deegan, go ahead and grab your screwdriver, buddy, and put all those little screws back in. Yeah. But and then what that's gonna do is because we want the acid to be able to roll around in here, so we're gonna keep it um, we're gonna keep it clogged up. So this cap's gonna stay on, this will stay on, and then we'll order a new one of these. 
and replace it. All right, you ready? Good, clear, go. All right. Just some foam padding because this thing vibrates so much. Oh. Ooh, that happen? Need to clean that up. Why don't you go grab me a... Uh, Your plastic bag. Thank you. Alright guys, so we got this thing off. Take a look at this. Take a look at this real quick. Show you guys what we are working with here. This thing is so dirty. Take a look inside. I'll show you guys if you can see in there. There's some corrosion, there's some rust happening. So, we need to get some acid into that. Uh, and it should clean all that up. So we'll get this thing down, get it prepped, and uh, put our acid in there. This, sh this step shouldn't take too long. We should just give it you know, an hour or two or 30 minutes, something like that. And we'll just kind of monitor how ma how fast it's eating away at all the rust, cleaning everything off, and we'll go from there. Well guys, I got a little ahead of myself uh, claiming that this tractor would be started today after inspecting the tank. I realized we have two problems. One is the petcock has a filter on the top on the inside and it has broken off so it is no longer attached in there which means it's not doing its job properly. It's not getting a pre-filter before going down through two more sets of filters. Uh, so we got to replace the petcock. Number two is when I was messing with it, I happened to strip out the I happened to strip out the petcock threads as well. So that's why I was getting that's why I was getting all of that uh, fuel flow coming down after I'd attached it. So that was the reason that, that was happening. You can see there, I stripped it out pretty good. Um, pretty much took all the threads off. So what that means is, is we're going to have to order a new pet cock, which means we're going to have to wait on doing all of this. Uh, so the tractor's not running today, unfortunately, but that's okay. We're making progress on it. Now this stuff, this step took a little longer than I wanted it to. There's some awkward uh, positioning of the bolts and the nuts trying to get that stuff off, but we did get it off. We've got stuff disconnected uh, that I don't want to just leave exposed. So we're going to have to cover that stuff up. Um, we're going to cover up the airline there, cover up the connection down below. We'll reattach that. So we're going to reattach stuff, close everything up so that it doesn't get rained on. We're not covered here. I wish we were. I wish we were in the shop, but we're just not there yet. So we're going to cover all this stuff up. And it's going to be to be continued on this one. All right, guys, so you've seen the process. We've got the fuel tank off. Uh, we're about to put some acid into this. We're going to save the acid. Um, putting the acid and cleaning the tank off for the next video so you guys are going to see that. In this video I need your guys' help. Let me know what is the next step I need to do. Uh, what other things now that we have the fuel tank off, what else should we replace while we're here now? We know that we've got um, an electrical line that needs to get replaced. Uh, what steps do I need to know that I don't know? So you guys tell me in the comments. Uh, I need your advice on this one so you guys walk me through it. Let me know what needs to happen next. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for subscribing and watching the channel. I have to go inside and get some parts ordered and get those things here quickly. So hopefully next week we can start installing those. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Just like I